I'm Clemens, Clemens Hese, laser engineer in ESA's optoelectronic section. Optical communication from deep space has been along for a long while and it has the potential to return measurement results from spacecraft at a data rate which is much higher than with conventional radio communication. But it's only now that it has been put into operational use with the European Data Relay Satellite System. EDIS is relaying the data from the Sentinel uh, satellites that are watching Earth down to Earth. Meanwhile, we in the ESA optoelectronic section, we are looking forward to extend the use of laser communication terminal to relay data back from deep space. ESA's proposed asteroid impact mission, AIM, will use a 30 centimeter class telescope to transmit data from observing the binary asteroid system Didymos back to Earth using a laser. We aim to operate the terminal at a distance of 75 million kilometers. This may sound a lot, but going further in future to Mars or Jupiter will involve even further distances. The satellite will have to point back precisely to Earth. To give you an idea, the laser coming from the 30 centimeter uh, terminal on the spacecraft will extend to a diameter of 1,100 kilometers back on Earth. In comparison, a conventional radio signal would spread much further than the entire Earth. Meanwhile, back on Earth, our one meter class optical ground station on Tenerife will use a sophisticated superconducting nanowire detector to count the incoming photons, basically one by one. For the spacecraft, we aim to take a Swiss Army knife approach, transforming the spacecraft from a laser communication terminal into an altimeter by just uploading different firmwares. That way, the optical communications terminal can assist the spacecraft in the navigation. Together with the latest development achievements of ESA's GSTP, TRP and ARTIS programs, we are able to deploy a deep space laser communication terminal at 75 million kilometers away from home. 